transmitters that we use to put on the birds, they uh, radio receivers and they only weigh about six or eight grams and we put them onto the one of the tail feathers. Uh, the reason we do this is because we want to monitor wherever these birds go um, and if anything should happen to the birds that we learn from what happens to the birds. So if a bird dies for some reason we will then know if it was caught by a jackal, if it was a human induced death or, or disease or anything else like that.
saving it. Don't wait like that. Uh, we've got those old CCTV cameras and we have to carry two car batteries to the base of the tree every hour. We had a chat and said we're leaving the first virus in that squad. We're putting in the cameras and developing and maybe you can yeah. then intervene. Or, or let them work it through. But I just do a better job. We anyway. need to just... And also... Because I was here and I said... I don't know. But I mean, he's... Uh, he's well, well, I don't know. 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 Is this the stuff that you guys give to them now when they walk in the bush, like yeah. log food? Or yeah. That's really so awesome. no more clipboards and pen, no more trying to remember codes for yeah. prayer items or anything like yeah. that. It's all, this is the same system as they use for the rangers and crew. Okay. Um, these were donated <coughs> by San Diego for nice. us. Nice. Is it waking up? Yeah. Nice and robust. They're very robust and it comes with a belt clippy thing, so you guys can just put them on. Okay. So that's kind of the. I don't. Can you see the start screen? Um, sorry, with this plastic, no, guys, plastic fine, covering. So the guys will go in. So it's either Godfrey or Tabo. I put you and Penny on, and I put Charles on because he may. Okay. And then I've just put a tester. So if you guys want to run through it, that data just gets logged under tester, okay. and I can then delete that okay. later. So I know what's going on. Uh, temperature today, I'd say, is cool. Uh, it's clear sky, so they'll start each day like this, it's still, and then bird roll call, so which of the birds are present? Nkosi, Mvula, Sion, Shimaweni, and then that's save, um, and then it finds the GPS and it logs that as the start huh. of their day, but we'll skip the GPS, and then I've got a screen for general activity, um, so to binoculars, then they can do the general activity. So then that's feeding interactions. Are they just resting in the shade? Are they just walking and not feeding? Flying, perching, or any courtship behavior? Um, so any one of those you're going to say, say feeding. Uh, what was it? It was a gecko. It was two to five centimeters. It was a gift to between which birds? Um, Vula gave it to Shimoweni, safe. Good, and that mm. takes a GPS yeah. thing. So it's very simple, it's easy for these guys to use. Um, and then I want, what we're trying to do is, you've seen all the maps and the GIS stuff of how they choose the release sites. Mm -hmm. And that's all done from maps and GIS mm -hmm. and satellites <coughs> and stuff, which is great, but it doesn't actually tell you what decisions the birds are gonna make mm -hmm. on the ground. So it's probably gonna be Natasha's masters, and that's why we're collecting this data, is to try and use the rate of foraging as an index of habitat suitability. Mm -hmm. So one hour special watch, so the shepherd will spend one hour following just one bird. So, okay, it's the morning watch, start. Uh, today they're going to follow, oh, I need to change that. And then it's the same, it's the feeding thing, it was a lizard, it was more than 10 centimeters, it was eaten. And then for Colin they wanted other conservation interest. So um, is it something to do with a rhino or something to do with a poacher? So if you go into rhino, Tracking, are you seeing a visual? Are you watching a rhino or is it just the signs? So it's a visual and then I have described what you see and they can say and, one male. And, and we got the GPS and pointer then it's there the as GPS well. So we know that those it's tracks are awesome. there. We just, do we have the individuals in there? No, I don't know. You don't? No. But you, it's describe we, what you see so yeah. they can say okay. bull five or I don't yeah. know how you exactly. label it. You know. yeah. Yeah. Um, and then and the other one then is a poacher. Mm. What are you seeing? Visual or signs? Yeah. What do you see? I can see footprints. There's an old campfire or whatever. So it's adding a little bit more into just the Hornbill stuff because these guys are out in the field the whole day. So that's it. So it can help other organizations as well. Yeah. Mm. And so I mean, help them yeah, run, I mean, run their shows. Yeah. Because visual. Yeah. Especially the GPS point. So we know exactly mm -hmm. where yeah. he saw those tracks. So we can yeah. go back again. And, and say, and oh, so wow. Instead of him waiting is, there the whole day yeah. for us to come, he yeah. can say, we can go back there and see yeah. you exactly where it yeah. was. So. so he can carry on with the birds, yeah. but that information is safe. And, and, but and also, if they haven't seen an animal for a while, they can always go back and check and see where the, the trackers, yeah. Yeah. if the shepherd yeah. saw, yeah. saw that yeah. animal. Yeah. 
Um, and then this has also got a camera. So if there's any weird oh. behavior or if a bird That's is cool. killed for some reason, and you can, you can take good photographs of what happened exactly so we can try and track it. Is um, Charles happy to use, is he? Yeah, yeah no, he's fine. He's fine with that, yeah, so to yeah. explain to, yeah. to Tabu and go for yeah. I see there's one screen in here that I still need to change when it comes down to the which birds are feeding which birds. I've still got our lot in here, okay. so I just have to okay. just How many reprogram. Did you get these? Um, I got nice three. They were donated, um, and, but I suspect San Diego will, with each new release, supply the new ones. Mm. Very nice. Um, so pretty much what we have at the moment is San Diego provides these, and Chester Zoo provides all our telemetry equipment. Oh, that's cool. The trans they cover the cost of the transmitters and the, the telemetry units. the ground hornbill project so important <laughs> cut <laughs> 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 <laughs>